Hi, I'm Samantha Parker from the National Electronics Museum, and today we're going to be showcasing our uh, infrared camera to show how thermal imaging works. This is our chart of the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, humans can only see a very small amount of it. It's the public visible spectrum, it's right here. Uh, today, for our demo, we're going to be talking about the infrared portion of the spectrum, which we can't see, but we can detect as heat. So for our demo here, we have to the right, you'll see it's just a standard black and white video camera, and that detects visible light. So it's showing, you know, me, nothing, nothing too special. And then on the left is our uh, IR camera, and that's different because it's actually detecting heat. So you'll notice that um, the lighter portions of my body are like warmer and then the darker portions are, are darker. So you'll see my hands, see how they appear like gray or black because most people's hands are colder. Um, same with my nose, I don't know if you can see it. Um, and then my clothes are sort of dark because they don't give off my cheek, but my face definitely a lot more heat. So you can kind of see that difference in the really neat. So we're going to do some demos to demonstrate, you know, what the IR camera can do. So here I am, I'm in the booth, and I have two just erasers right here. And if I rub these together, that creates friction. Friction creates heat. So, and as we know, our IR camera detects heat. So if I rub the erasers, Together, when I show them to the camera, you can see that the, the heat is created. So, here in the booth, we have a uh, sheet of plastic, um, and you can see it on both screens. But the difference with the IR camera, if I'm going to put my pan and press it against this plastic sheet, the heat from my hand will, you'll be able to see that heat transfer and it's going to show up in the IR camera. Even if I take my hand away, we'll be able to see that difference with the heat. Now, here I have a sheet of glass. Now, when we look at the regular black and white camera, you'll see that you can still see me. That's because um, glass allows visible light to pass through. But then, if you look at the IR camera, I'm completely, you can't see me at all because glass does not allow uh, thermal emissions to pass through. So now we just have a standard grocery bag, um, and you'll see that this does something completely different than the sheet of glass that I have. So on the uh, black and white uh, image, see I'm locked out, you can't see me. Just as you would expect, and then you can go over to the infrared image, it's completely see-through. You can much, you know, see me through this plastic bag because uh, infrared does not reflect plastic. So here in the booth we have a just a piece of polished aluminum. Um, as you can see, it's not a mirror, not reflective at all. Um, and if we look at the, the regular TV camera, you can see it's just the round sheet of aluminum. But what's amazing is that when we take a look at the IR camera, you can see my reflection in the sheet. Um, and that's because my heat is reflecting off that piece of aluminum. Here, mirror light. 